Welcome to today's SAP Business One demonstration of the forecasting and MRP module. What we're going to do is let's slide in the main menu here, and we're going to spend the lion's share of the time talking about forecast MRP, and then what we do with the end results. Before we get into forecasting, one of the widgets that I have on my desktop is a widget that shows me some of my social media and market penetration. And this will give me an idea of uh, where I should be spending my, um, my campaign dollars, my marketing funds, um, you know, all of that good information, because all of that essentially can lead to my forecast to make sure that I have what I need when I need it. And that's really important. The cost of expediting material can dramatically eat away at a gross profit. So <clears throat> to begin, let's open up our forecast now in the forecast module itself let's um it, it takes you into find mode essentially so if i want to look at all the other forecasts i have out there i could uh, bring up a list there's no limit to the number of forecasts you can have multiple forecasts with the same date frames um, you can have what if forecasts all kinds of forecasts they can be product group specific customer specific the sky's the limit. But what we're going to do is, is we're going to do a control A or uh, we're going to hit the, uh, the add button here and we're going to create a brand new forecast. But instead of keying in all of the items individually that we want to forecast and then keying in the quantities, we're going to let the system do a lot of our job for us. So to do that, we're going to go into intelligent forecast. Now, <clears throat> the intelligent forecast is a uh, it's a new tool as of 9.2 SAP Business One, and it has several different calculation methods. Um, TESM and LRD TESA, and we'll talk about those in a minute. But what we're going to do is is we're going to pick an item group here. So this is how I have all of my items grouped, and I'm going to start with one of the biggest groups that I have, just everything classified as items, and then we're going to click the forecast button. Now SAP is running some analytics behind the scenes. And while that's running, we're gonna take a look at something here. We're gonna take a look at the, uh, the forecasting methods. So for all of you math geeks out there, this is what's happening to our data behind the scenes. SAP is using a triple exponential smoothing model, TESM, 